Greetings, sisters and brothers, to all of my fellow members of Calvary Baptist Church of Glenwood. This is just a quick word of encouragement, and I just wanted to say hello, and I hope and pray that everyone is doing well during the stay-at-home order. And I just want to remain in contact with you and to let you know everything is going to be all right. So in that sense, um, I'm never one to leave you without a word of prayer. So wherever you are, if you just want to take this moment um, that we may join together and that we may seek the Lord in prayer. Merciful God, our creator and our sustainer, you are indeed our sovereign provider, the one who gives us peace, even amidst calamity, the one who guides us, even though the gateways and pathways of this life can be turbulent and sometimes filled with uncertainty and misery. Yet in the midst of it all, you are indeed God. It was your prophet who spoke to us, your people, and you placed in the mouth of your prophet your words, be still and know that I am God. So during this time of stillness, let our hearts reflect upon you and upon ourselves and upon how we can be greater neighbors, greater relatives and family members, greater sisters and brothers to one another. I am praying, O oh God, for our parents during this time of confinement in some parts of our nation and throughout so many parts of our world. I'm praying for families that are having to balance and unbalance and rebalance budgets and resources. I'm praying for employees and the unemployed that when all of this is done, whether it be in the coming days or weeks or months, that when it's all said and done, those things that have been imbalanced shall be balanced, and unjust things shall be made right. So God, I pray that you strengthen us in the interim, and in the meantime, that as your people, this shall be a moment in which our strength can show forth. Lord, let this be a time that we reset some things. Let this be a time that we unsettle the bad things and settle the good things. Let this be a time in which, regardless of creed or color, regardless of which block or street or neighborhood, regardless of which border or state line, regardless of which latitude or longitude, that this will be a moment not only for neighbors near, but for neighbors far, that we are reminded that we are all still your people under your care. You alone are God. So I pray now that for the remainder of this day, that wherever, wherever someone may be while hearing this prayer, that for the remainder of this day, our daily bread, that for the remainder of this day that you have given us, for the remainder of this day, March 23rd, 2020, for the remainder of this day, oh God, that this be a day of happiness and hope and victory and joy, that even amidst uncertainty and adversity, you give us the victory. It is with, with hope and peace. It is with thankfulness for grace it is with thankfulness for the strength and the power to endure that we lift this prayer to you, O God. And we lift this prayer to you in the perfect name and mighty name and the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And may God bless you.